Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look. Today, I'm with Gabrielle Nevea Green and Young Dylan, and we are talking the NFL wildcard game on Nickelodeon. Let's take a first look. The Nickelodeon NFL wildcard game, a slime honor tradition celebrating athleticism, sportsmanship, and the pursuit of excellence. This year, the tradition continues with crazier player transformations and a slimier slime zone? Well, that's just amazing. Clearly, it's going to be wilder than ever. Hosts Nate Burleson and Young Dylan are shaking things up in an NFL wildcard game. Sunday, January 16th at 4.30 on Nick. Gabby, I got to talk with you last season about this. And Young Dylan, this is my first time talking with you, but I did get to talk to your colleagues, uh, George Johnston, George Knows Football, and Dylan Schefter a couple months ago. So stoked to talk to you both. So Gabby, since this is your second time around, what should fans, new fans expect from the NFL wildcard game on Nickelodeon? The NFL wildcard game this year is going to be so much bigger than last year. We've got even crazier effects. The visual effects are going to be even shinier, even crisper. Um, They're going to be absolutely wild because you're not going to be able to tell what's real and what's not hopefully I know when I look at the visuals I certainly can't you know especially with the slime you know on this broadcast we don't have the end zone we have the slime zone so hopefully when we're sliming those players it looks very very real um and this broadcast is going to be so much fun because when we're up in the booth we're really just kind of bouncing off of each other's energy and really just kind of going with the flow and and having fun and especially with Dylan bringing this new fresh energy I feel like new fans are really going to enjoy this and it's going to connect with the audience just as much as it did last year. Well and Dylan let me talk with you for a second because okay you're going to be sideline reporter this time around and normally you're in the studio on a weekly basis for slime time so what's your preparation like? I'm always lit. I'm always drippy. So, you know, I got I got to be the same for the playoff game. I'm most excited for calling out who the MVP is at the end of the game. And it's going to be so lit and working with these like uh, I'm uh, working with Gabrielle, Nate and Noah um, in the booth. And I'm on the sidelines. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be lit and it's going to be better than ever. Gabby, well, you know, usually like the first time around was just kind of like, you know, it was it was an experiment a little bit. But the right. second time around, I'm sure maybe there are some lessons from the first time around. So I don't know if there's something that you thought about, okay, this is what I want to bring this time around to the booth that um, I need that, that I didn't think about last time. I feel like with the first broadcast, nobody really knew what to expect. Not only do we know how it was all going to work and come together, we didn't know what a big impact it was going to have and how much people were really going to respond to it. Um, but this time around, I feel like we're all just really focusing on interjecting our own personalities into it even more and especially with the players because last year it was really great having the opportunity to interview the players beforehand and just getting like their favorite color or their favorite superhero or what they wanted to be when they grew up as a kid because that really humanizes the players and it adds an interesting aspect to our broadcast that no other network has and I feel like that's another thing that we're going to carry over into this year and I feel like that's going to be really effective as well Um, but yeah just really interjecting our own personalities and continuing to have fun and uh, project our energy through the screen to those that are watching. So Dylan, do you feel comfortable because if you do this on a weekly basis for a slime time, but do you feel more comfortable when you're getting getting ready to do this because your co-host Nate Burleson is going to be there? Yes, I feel like I feel so much comfortable and also working with people that I have good chemistry with and I already knew I know them. So, like, it's already, like, you're just working with them on the regular basis because, like, we're already going to talk. We're already going to laugh and talk. And we got the chemistry going. So, I don't, I feel comfortable. I don't feel nervous at all. And it's going to be fun. And I know that, like, everyone here is supporting us and they're here for us. So, it's going to be amazing. Oh, and Gabby, how about for you? How about reuniting with Nate? What are you excited about? Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Nate and Noah are such incredible guys. They have such great hearts. I mean, I got a heart shirt on today. Um, and I feel like that's really important because especially Nate, he's so successful and, you know, he's great at literally everything that he touches. And not only that, he's a really genuine person. Like it's not an act. It's like 
everything he does is just to benefit other people and to, to make the world better. And I feel like that's something that's really inspirational in itself. But not only that, we're all like a little family, you know, we, we all have a lot of fun and Dylan and I are friends. We've worked together for years now. And, you know, it's really great to be with somebody that you already have great chemistry with, as Dylan said, and, you know, just be really comfortable and be able to be open and have fun and, you know, make mistakes as part of the fun um, and just kind of learn and grow with each other on screen. Who is your pick? This game is determined to be the Niners versus the Cowboys for this game that you guys are going to be like doing commentating on and everything. So who is your pick? Who's going to win? You know what? I'm going with the Cowboys. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. uh, I got to go for the 49ers on this one because, you know, I'm an Eagles fan and Cowboys and the Eagles, they're in the same division. And like, it's always them every year going, like who goes to the playoffs, who makes it. And, you know, we got a little bit of beef and like almost all, all my family members like the Cowboys. I don't know why, I, I don't know why. I think Eagles are just way better. You can find the NFL wildcard game on Nickelodeon Sunday, January 16th.